हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल इन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ प्रीवियस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन डिफॉल्ट ग्रुप पॉलिसीज मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम आई हैव ऑब्जर्व दैट इन यल वन एंड यल टू और यल थ्री लेवल इंटरव्यूज इंटरव्यूअर मे आस्क वॉट डिफॉल्ट ग्रुप पॉलिसीज विल बी क्रिएटेड वाइल प्रोमोटिंग अ डोमेन कंट्रोलर इन a domain okay so what group default by default group policies will be get created so you can answer to the interviewer first default domain controller policy will be get created and second one is default domain policy these two group policies will get created by default when you promote a fresh domain domain controller okay so first default domain we'll discuss about default domain controller policy a default domain controller policy is automatically created and linked to the domain where whenever a server is promoted to a domain controller so in active directory we so that there will be by default some organizational units we call it ous will be get created there will be one ou called the domain controllers on that particular ou this group policy will be linked by default okay this gpo represents the default policy that is applied to all domain controllers in the domain controller container container it's a organizational unit only ou only but whatever domain controllers are added into that particular ou this group policy will apply okay second default domain policy a default gpo that is automatically created and linked to the domain whenever a server is promoted to a domain controller this is first time means what when you want to when you promote a do, domain controller as a domain uh, that time this group policy will be created automatically okay and it has the highest precedence of all gpos linked to the domain this group policy will have a highest precedence okay compared to other group policies and it applies to all users and computers in the domain this policy applies to all users irrespective of users location ou okay <coughs> group membership this policy will get applied to users as well as computers in the domain okay so let's jump to the server and we'll see <clears throat> what group policies and how we can verify those group policies so here we have this server with us and we can verify that group policies by opening a gpmc console msc gpmc.msc this is a shortcut to open a group policy management console c this is a console i have opened with me testlab.com so here you can see or uh, you can just go to directly on group policy object see there are two group policies default domain controller policy as well as default domain policies these two group policies are there and you can see that default domain policy is linked to domain on testlab dot com here also you can see where it links testlab dot com okay and uh, what about default domain controller policy this policy gets applied to domain controllers ou this policy is applied to only sorry linked to only domain controllers ou okay so always keep in mind whenever you have been asked or you will be asked by interviewer what 
default group policies will be get created into a domain so you may answer this default domain controller policy and default domain policies these two group policies will be by default created thank you guys thank you for watching my video please like and subscribe for more videos